Sicily. I love this island. We're hiking today in on the big rock above Chefalu. And I've got some do's and don'ts. Sicily, when you're looking for accommodation, don't assume you're gonna get heat in the winter. Yeah, most places mention air conditioning, but you don't need air conditioning in the winter. It gets cold here. Like between 40 and 50 at night, Fahrenheit. So make sure when you're searching on booking and VRBO and Airbnb that you ask that. I almost booked a place that I noticed, oh, there's no heat. I'm not going without heat in winter and paying you for the privilege. No, um, people are super friendly the further south you get. And I love that because like we've been doing street photographs and here in Sheffaloo, people are enjoying our <laughs> are uh, mingling from another country. They just are joyful people. So, uh, don't always assume, I've only had this happen once. I was waiting for a bus in, and at three different times throughout the day, it didn't show up to go to an ancient village. The one where my grandfather was born. So, I've got more experience with the trains. Uh, the trains are very nice. Take the trains. I know a lot of people like to drive, but um, I don't in a foreign country. I did it once in Spain and I was real happy to bring the car back. So yeah, you can get to places that you couldn't reach uh, by public transport. But there's so many places you can get to with public transport, trains, buses, ferries. Now with ferries though, in the winter, you gotta be sure it's still running. You want to check that check and recheck everything and especially with this covid stuff going on you're going to hear a lot of different stories about things not all of them are true about uh restrictions and so forth so but that's not just for sicily that's for all throughout italy so the other thing is get out and walk walking is so great have good shoes. Go to the sea. These seaside places are wonderful in the winter because they're not overrun with tourists when it's hot in Sicily in the summer. And you can have a big range of choice for accommodations, apartments, hotel rooms. I really like to cook in Italy. This is my favorite country to cook in. And the produce and vegetables are all really fresh. So take a chance at getting an apartment and enjoying cooking for yourself. It's really fun when it's not combined with work and stress and family and speed in USA, for example, life. It's not so much here in Europe, but, and try to speak with people because they're happy that you're even trying. And a lot of times they wanna hear your English too. Okay, for accommodation, another thing is to ask about the Wi-Fi because you know, it looked really beautiful and modern. I've been researching a lot the past two days and then I'd get to the one point that would not know Wi-Fi or intermittent or doesn't work so good. I really need to have real Wi-Fi. And so you have to ask. Another thing to ask, because it's winter, construction is ongoing places. So you can just show up somewhere and pounding will prevail and they don't start at nine o'clock. They can start before seven. There doesn't seem to be any rules about that. So be aware of that and ask, because you know, in this time of booking online, you usually don't see it. Another thing you can do if it's a hotel is ask to see the room first before you commit to staying there and get as liberal cancellation policy as you possibly can because you never know when things are gonna change. You have to leave sooner, stay longer. So I think I'm gonna to go to Trapeni next and I'm really excited about that. It's very fun to explore, eat, photograph, write here in Sicily. And I just wanted to say hello if you're coming. Do's and don'ts for Sicily. Uh, comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. 
one more thing. The most important thing you can bring with you on any trip is not anything to put in your suitcase. Bring your child like ecstasy. I just saw this little kid run by and he was so excited to be up here with his father. <laughs> he was holding a big stick and running with it in the trees. So don't forget childlike wonder and awe. It takes practice, yeah, but it's a really fun kind of practice. <laughs>